Withington Baths have released these CCTV images of two people breaking into their premises late on Monday night. Forcing their entry through a side door, the robbers took goods and money from behind the counter. I was on shift with three other members of staff. We left at approximately 10pm. We came in at 10 to 6 the following morning and we found that the, the doors to the building had been kicked in. Uh, two people had entered the building and they'd stolen uh, an amount of money, some valuables. They were in the building for approximately 15, 20 minutes. What was the damage on Tuesday morning when you came back to work? The first thing that we noticed was they'd kicked in the, the heritage doors at the side of the building, uh, which are obviously fantastic old doors which have been here for decades and decades. They'd also made a mess inside and emptied various areas, but those are things that, those are things that we, can, we can put behind us and we can build on taking the centre forward. We're certainly not going to let this affect us or, or stop how we progress. At the heart of the Withington and West Didsbury community, Withington Baths was saved last year by community donations following council cuts to close the centre. We feel that it was extremely important to the local area because there, there is very little pool water in Manchester for people to go swimming. People don't want to see these great old heritage buildings close. They want to be able to swim locally. They don't necessarily want to use these brand new shiny centres. A lot of people do care about the history of buildings such as Withington Baths. Break-in on Monday night has left directors and board members of Withington Baths devastated. But what they say that they need now is community support. The main thing that people can do is just come down and support us. If you were thinking of going somewhere for a swim, come down and swim here. If you want a gym membership, come and look at our fantastic new, newly refurbished gym. Become a member here. Uh, obviously there's charitable donations, but it's more about people taking part in the activities that we do here. We have a whole range of activities, all on the Love Withington Baths website, which is, is a fantastic website, really worth looking at. Anyone with any information that could help pin the culprits is asked to speak to Wivington Baths or Crime Stoppers. Alec Heron, that's Manchester.